Nearly $300 million are added to North Dakota's economy through sunflowers every year. But as Heidi Warosa tells us, some farmers are having difficulty planting the crop. Dean Getz normally plants around 1,000 acres of sunflowers each year. Made some good money over the years. The National Sunflower Association says that the crop is more profitable this year than last. We had a large supply of seed, and so prices weren't as high as they are right now. In fact, uh, you know, we're, we're probably $3 a hundredweight higher right now than we were last year at this time. Despite the higher prices, there's a big problem with blackbirds. It's something that growers face each year. One farmer isn't planting any more sunflowers just because blackbirds have become such a problem. What's happened with the blackbirds is they come in and they've just devastated these crops. Um, our yields have probably dropped in half. Now he's planted more soybeans and other crops. Five, six miles west of here we had some decent yields. We got into this area, they were in about a third of what we were where the bird pressure wasn't as heavy. Sandbakken says about $250,000 are available for farmers to tackle the blackbird problem. We'll be able to have more boots on the ground, more assistance to growers. Uh, there'll be more propane cannons available to use to, to scare the birds out of fields. There aren't any birds out now, as they usually come closer towards the harvest season. And some areas become heavier in bird concentrations. Some friends of mine on the west side of the river, they haven't had these issues yet, so I hope we can Maybe we can keep the birds over here. In the long run, Getz hopes the bird problem can be resolved so sunflowers can once again be planted on his land. I'm Heidi Warosta, reporting for KX News. If you want information on how to obtain some of those funds, just go to our KX News website. Keep it here, still to come on KX News at 10.